To use particle effects to scatter debris around a mesh, the objects to be scattered will need to be grouped together. Select the objects, then Control G to group. With the scatter surface selected, left click Particles and create a new particle effect. Change the type to Hair, alter number, typically to a much lower value than the default. Then in the Render subsection, click the Group button. The options will update. Here, activate Rotation, change Size to 1, then in Dupli Group, click the Input field and from the list select the group of objects previously created. If the objects that appear are larger than expected, change Hair Length to 1. This resets the objects to actual size. For more control over the particle effect, directly beneath Type, activate Advanced. A new set of options will appear, giving greater control over the debris. Using Jitter, the number of particles per face can be changed, their placement can be randomized, or be more formal, one object per face, depending on the option selected. To alter the orientation of the objects, activate Rotation, then switch Initial Orientation to Normal, then alter the Random and Phase values to rotate around different axes.